Welcome back to the InfoFlux. In today's video, we are going to show you how to interface WS2812 V LED strip with an Arduino Nano. This is a fun and exciting project that perfect for adding some colorful lights to your project. So let's get started. We will require the following components for this project Arduino Nano, WS2812 B LED strip, and some jumper wires. WS2812 B addressable LED strip is a colorless type of LED strips. You can control the brightness and the color of each LED individually which allows you to produce amazing and complex effect in a simple way. This addressable LED strip is made by WS2812 B LED wired in series. These addressable LED strip have an IC belt right into the LED. This allows communication via a one wire interface. This means that you can control alerts of LEDs using just one digital pin of your Arduino. This kind of strip are very flexible and can be cut to any length you want. As you can see, the strip is divided into segments and each segment contains one RGB LED. It consists of three pins, VCC which is 12 volt, DN and ground. Connect the 12 volt power supply with LED strip. Connect the digital input pin of the LED strip with D6 pin of the Arduino Nano. Connect the ground pin of the LED strip with ground of the Arduino Nano. First, we will install the required libraries to control the LED strip. Open the library manager. And search for fast LED. I have already installed the fast LED library. We can apply various animations to the LED strip by uploading various examples. Now if we want to control the animations with button, we will connect the push button with D2 pin.
and install the Adafruit NeoPixel library for this example. Upload the code to the Arduino Nano. When we will press the push button, the animation in the LED strip will be changed. That's it for today's tutorial. You have successfully interfaced a WS2812 b LED strip within Arduino Nano. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching.